G'day all, how we doing? Today I'll be showing you how to use a Stargate plugin into a Bucket and it's quite simple actually. Um, first of all I'm going to show you how to um, create a Stargate. So here I am in my server. Um, it's pretty simple. First of all, um, you the default one will be Obsidian like so and um, it's just like normal weather portal so that's four across and five up and there you go you got a portal all you do is you um, smack on a sign you type the name of this portal so let's call it test one you're done, press done and there will automatically be a button pop up on the other side. Uh, at this point you can change where this will go to. Um, so there's control and I believe that's all there is at the moment. Connect that's free. Let's just do a test one first. So um we'll call it test one again done and right next to it we'll put a test 2 and there you go so um what you do is you right click and you go test 1 I don't actually know how to scroll down that's that's fun well, let me just get back to you guys in just a second. Okay, we're back. Um, I found out how to do it, so it's as easy as just right-clicking and right-click again to go to test one. That point, um, yeah. So with this one as well, you want to go to test two, and so that means when you click on this one, you go straight through to this one, and so test two. Valid destination, that's interesting. Alright, you gotta set it. I'll show you how to lock it in once you're done. But um just for now. So go through and straight through to the other side. Alright, how to lock it in is easy. First of all, you just knock down that. And you want to go here. You go to test two and just test one. And there you go. And with this one, do the exact same thing. And go test one, test two. And that way it's always going to be locked. So let's give that a go. So, yep. And once it's used, and then it's that easy. Right now, I'm going to show you how you can create a new type of gate. So, um, I've also added in this gate. So, you've got two glowstone down the bottom and the corners, and then another glowstone, iron, that, and there we go. Then, when I smack a sign on it, and I go testing area to control click done and then we click it and we go through to control and see how it was water and so um yeah it's as easy as that so at control I will edit it oh, to testing area and it goes back just testing area and there we go so um how you make your own portals is easy first of all you want to bring up your bucket and um, go into plugins in plugins across from stargate you'll find the stargate folder in there there will be a folder called gates firstly open up the normal one which will be the nether gate and here you have portal open portal closed to owner false x equals 49 
and the negative is 49. What this is is um, this down here is your portal. So as you can see, these are the blank spaces just here oh, next to the x's where you don't have to have any blocks there. And x is 49. What that 49 is is the ID number. And um, at the moment, 49 is obsidian. And the negative points um, is also 49, which is obsidian. And that point there is where the sign and the button goes. Also, as you can see here, there is a point where there's a star. This is the entrance and exit point of the portal. And um, that's just how it works, really. So if we were to make a new one, and I'll just minimize this, back to game, and let's say we want it to be. Let's have a look. Um, so I'm just thinking something that doesn't look too bad. Let's try the redstone lamp. One, two, three. All right. So we open up the another gate, and we want the red or the redstone lamp to be X. And for the negative points, we can go. What are we looking at? Hmm. We'll go diamond ore. Or actually, we'll go lapis lazuli 22. So you go in here, 22. Now, the portal open, what that is, is 90 is um, at the moment the normal portal, which is portal 90. And I have it as 8, which is water. Um, I don't know if you can do lava. I'm going to try that now, actually. So let's try lava. And let's go file. Save as. Make sure you don't save over and navigate. And you want it to be a custom. So let's go custom one. And make sure you type dot gate. Press save, and that's custom one. So when you open up your gates, there's a gate file there. So that means that if I was to, let's see if this works, I might actually have to turn off the server. And that should do it. So now when I pull out um, the redstone lamp, oh, I'll have to grab it from here. Actually, I've been having this issue. If you can help me out with that, please post a comment or message me. Um, and then we want to go. What's the other thing? Lapis Luzel. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Hmm. Doesn't actually look that great, does it? Oh well. It's just the texture. I'm going to fix up those textures later. Anyway, um. And. It should work, so let's go test three, and there you go, you have a gate. And then you should be able to actually go between the gates. So if I go test three to test two, right? I believe it gets test three, test two. Right click on here, there we go. Test three to test two. No, no, control. God damn it. Right, let's retry that. I'll just make this one to normal. Okay. Test two. Test three. And test three to test two. And right click. Oh. Well that it oopsies. And blah blah. Can you come out? There you go. Yeah, and um it's as easy as that, guys. And thank you for watching. Uh if there's any questions, please just 
put in the comments. Please subscribe, I'll bring out more tutorials. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more tutorials. Thank you very much.